today we're going to be talking about how to do the query function within Google Sheets, which is pretty darn cool. So as you can see, I got a whole bunch of data here. Um, these are made up students, um, freshmen, to seniors, nine through 12. And they're going to be attending different workshops, either about Apple, Google, Windows, or Linux. Um, so I, this is just the raw data. But using the query function, as you can see here, I'm going to switch over to the Apple tab. Using the query function, um, and you see it right there, up there in the in the uh, function bar, I can just filter out just the people attending the Apple, just the people attending the Google, the Linux, and Microsoft, etc. And it's dynamic. So when I add more into the All Data tab um, here, and, and I'll, I'll give you, I'll show you an example here. So as you can see on the right hand side, I've got the Apple. So I'm going to add Joe Schmo here to the regular um, data and he's a sophomore and he's going to go attend Apple and it automatically populates. There's no, there's nothing else I need to do. I don't need to make a new function or anything like that. So it's really, really, really cool. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, you know, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to highlight all this information and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to create a new uh, Google spreadsheet which is what I'm doing right now, and paste it all in there. Wonderful. Fantastic. It's all there. Um, now, before I start using the query function or making new uh, worksheets, what I'm going to want to do is name all of this data. And you can name a data range. And you can do this in Excel, and you can do this in uh, LibreOffice, and you can do this. It's, it's very handy. So I'm going to highlight everything, and I'm going to say named range. This is under the data tab the data, you know, in the file menu. And then I'm going to go ahead and name the range. As you can see, a little little, uh, little thing slid open on the right-hand side there. I'm going to call it workshop. Now, this is case sensitive. So if I use a capital W, when I reference back to this, I need to use a capital W. So I, I like to keep everything one word, lowercase, just as simple as can be. That's what I typically tend to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now I'm going to create a new worksheet by clicking the plus down now we're going to go ahead and start our query function. So I'm on the new sheet here. I'm going to type equals query. Um, and I'm going to put, put, put a parenthesis and I'm going to type in workshop because that's my named data range. And as you can see, it shows up, you know, Google knows when I start typing it and shows up a quotation mark. Select. Um, and I'm going to put A, B, C. And now this A, B, C references to column A, column B, and column C of the original data here. So column A is student name. Oh, hold on here. There it is. Column B is grade, and column C is presentation. So eventually, we will tell it to focus just on the grade, uh, but that will come a little bit later. I want it to look at all of those columns, and I want it to display all of those columns. Um, yeah, so I got A, B, C. Oh, I got too many commas. Let me come back up there. Okay, so I want to select A, B, C. And now I am going to say where C. No, 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 not C. I'm sorry, that's a mistake. Where B, because B is the grade level, equals 9. Because I just wanted to show freshmen. And I'm going to close the quotation mark. And I'm going to put a comma. And then one. And now this one represents how many header rows there are, I believe. Um, and the header row is where it says student name, grade, and presentation. And so there it is. I, we've done it. There you go. And if I were to add, let's say this was a Google form and somebody were to fill, a new freshman were to fill it out, well, it would automatically populate this sheet here with the new freshman. And it tells me what presentation they're going to and everything. So let's do one where we just want to see who's going to the Linux presentation, right? That's that's a good one. So I'm going to put equals query. I made a new worksheet, of course. Equals query, parenthesis, workshop, because that's my that's my data named range, comma, quotation mark, select. Again, A, B, C. I want I wanted to know the student name, the grade level, and I wanted to confirm the presentation. And but this time, instead of saying where B equals, I'm going to put where C equals. Now, because we're looking for a word and not a number, we have to put another quotation mark. And I don't know if you remember your grammar, but to put a quotation inside of a quotation, we do just a single quotation mark there. So 
I'm going to type in Linux, close the quotation, quotation, comma, what? Well, I made a mistake. Something's not right. You can, see, you can see the header row, but there's no data. So let's see. Let me take a look at what I did wrong here. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see it. Let me, let me come back to the original data here just to kind of confirm. Yes. Yes, I see it. So I put Linux all in capital letters. The problem is I don't have it all in capital letters. I have it capital L, lowercase i n u x. That fixed it. And there you go, guys. I hope, uh, hope this was helpful. And leave comments below.